Hello everyone, welcome to Jumper Man Tech, where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today I will be going over what is a contactor and how does it work. So what is a contactor? In simple terms, a contactor is a device for making and breaking a circuit, similar to a relay. A contactor is typically controlled by a circuit which has a much lower power level than the switch circuit. An example of that would be a 24 volt coil electromagnet controlling a 208-230 volt circuit. The coil is separated from the contacts. Contactors come in many forms with varying capacities and features, but all work on similar principles. Unlike general purpose relays, Contactors are designed for high current load devices. An example of that would be a compressor. So these controls can handle an amperage much greater than a relay. If you haven't yet already watched my video on what is a relay and how does it work, the link will be in the description. And if so far you guys are finding this content interesting or helpful, don't forget to please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It is always greatly appreciated. The electromagnet or coil provides the driving force to close the contacts. One side of the contactor is connected directly to power and this is your line side. The opposite end is connected to your electrical device such as a motor. So the way this works is that when your coil is energized this will create a magnetic field since the coil is an electromagnet and will force the contacts to close. So now, when your contacts close, power is now able to travel from the line side and go across and travel through and now can energize your load, which will, can be your compressor or a large fan motor of some sort. So let's go over this again, guys. Let me explain to you what we're looking at here. So we have a coil. And I chose this contactor because you can clearly see all the components. So here's your coil. If you look closely, you can see the coil is actually connected with this terminals. And on this side. So your coil for this contactor is right here. This is your coil. One side of your coil and here's the opposite side of your coil. Next, you have your contacts. So the way this works is that when this coil is energized, and this is a 24 volt coil, so let's say your thermostat calls for cooling, right? This coil will be energized, and the electromagnet will force these contacts to close. Keep in mind, the coil and your contacts are completely electrically isolated. So once your coil is energized, it will dry these contacts to close. One side is already connected to power, ready to go. So when these coils tell these contacts to close, that means we want cooling. So these contacts will close, send power from the line side, and it will travel down to your load and energize your compressor. And that's the way this works, and I will prove this to you using a multimeter. So I have my meter out. I'm going to set it to continuity. I'm going to select the function. Once we have selected that, we're going to shut out our leads to make sure that our meter works. So I'm going to put one lead on, let's say this is your line, and I'm going to put one lead on the same, on the same pole, which would be your load. So let's say your thermostat's calling for cooling. It will energize your coil and thus close these set of contacts. When these contacts close, it will send power from your line side to your load, thus energizing your compressor. Right there, there's continuity, and there's the proof for you guys. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Stay tuned for my next videos, and I'll catch you guys next time.